Hello everybody and welcome back to the novelist. We're gonna be going to the third chapter and um, hopefully fixing up this fucking family because they're a mess, to be honest. Let's read this. Whether your child enjoys art school, uh, a summer camp. A camp for children. I don't know if that's a thing for him. I don't think that's the, that that's the solution to him and his problems. You need to give him more attention, that's the problem here. He really wants to spend more time with Davy as well, it seems. Four out of four, two out of four clues. There's four clues now. One of the planes, seen the plane so bad, why didn't Daddy take me? Because your grandmother died. I mean, how hard is that to understand? What, in all due respect. I called the co-op today. It isn't wildly expensive, but it sure doesn't fit into the budget. It was a bigger letdown than I thought, not being able to just sign up on the spot. It gets so lonely here sometimes. And I think Tommy's starting to feel it too. We try to play with him every day. And the woods here are pretty magical for someone his age. But kids need to be around other kids sometimes. True that, yeah. I play with his car so often. Sometimes I wish there were actual neighbors here. The only friend he's made is Davy. But seeing them at the park once in a while isn't the same as having someone to pal around with every day. It's summer vacation and... He's pretty much all alone. So, yeah, that's a good argument, though. It makes you wonder, maybe the camp is a good idea, but on the other hand, it might make him very sad to be forced to go into a camp and to not do what he wants. I, I don't know, maybe if it is what he wants, I don't really know. It's him and another friend. He really wants to meet more friends, but I don't I don't know whether it's another option than the camp. I don't think he'll be, he'll be very happy not seeing his parents. So I don't know about that. Dan, I hope you're doing well. Uh, is it from your father? I hope it's correct. I get to the point. Uh, when your cousin Richard passed away last year, we discovered that his, uh, his pipe business had done very well. He wasn't wealthy, but he was very comfortable. At the execution, we were somewhat surprised to find that he which distributed his estate among all living uh, blood relatives. He reserved the, li the lion's share for his intimate family, as I'm sure you understand, but there was a portion allotted to you as well. Um, and close to the check for the full amount. Oh, how much money did we make? No distractions here, just us. And that's exactly why you'll need to focus. Which really helped me find more errors. Shut up. I mean... I I understand that it's hard, Tommy. I really do. Don't get me wrong. My nose is very itchy, by the way. It's really annoying. I'm sorry if it, uh, if it bothers you as well. Um, I mean, not my nose. My nose is not going to bother you. I, I understand, but I meant like the fact that I'm scratching my nose sometimes. And that's what I'm doing. I'm scratching it. It's not like I'm not, I'm not putting my finger up under my brains. I'm scratching it. Don't, don't fucking judge me. I can do whatever I want. I'm, a, I'm, an, I'm an adult. I'm an adult now. Still can used. To, I can still can get used to the fact that I am. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and find some more clues then. Anne, I'm gonna cut right through the pleasantries and ask you. Who is this Ryan that mom mentioned on the phone? Someone new? Are you trying mm -hmm. to keep it a secret or did it just slip your mind the last time we talked? Maybe. Spill it. Do it, yeah. Things here are moving along, I guess. When we came up, I thought it would be great to have more dedicated time to paint, but I didn't realize it would be so isolating. I miss having more people around and having new ideas floating about. I got lucky in town last week, though. I found an artist co-op called Makeshift, and mm. it seems really interesting. It's not too big, but there are lots of different types of artists there. I'll probably call and try to get more details. I don't remember if I told you this, but I've been thinking about going back to painting full time. Anyway, mm. enough about me. Tell me what's up with you. Love, Linda. I like that. You should always pursue your dreams. That is like really important. I always, I always say I that to Rick once at a family reunion. That must have been what, fifteen. Years oh, about ago? the Rick guy. Yeah. Turns out he made his fortune by get this. Selling high-end pipes. The Sherlock Holmes kind, not the plumbing kind. <laughs> he must have been a hell of an interesting guy. I'd love that. I mean, yeah. he found a niche and made his way in the world. You have to respect that. Yes. It makes me wonder, am I giving everything I have to this book, or am I leaving myself an out? It isn't announced yet. I could always pull the plug. I'd never get another advance again, sure, but there isn't a gun to my head. Unless I put one there. M metaphorically, of course. I was just about to say, don't... Don't go that direction. There's no need for that whatsoever. Alright, so... She wants to go back to painting, and I can appreciate that. Dan, I looked into it, the guy that said the uh, release strap is big. 
Um. Okay. You've got some drive, though, coming up with an idea like this. If you've got that, think about it and let me know. What, about what exactly? Ads would make sense. If the book is good, you don't want to... Uh, okay. I don't know. About paying for ads to get his book sold more, I suppose? Hi, Mom. Hey, honey. What am I holding back? What are you holding back? Let's explore. How about we find out? Don't choke like that. Don't choke like that. Yeah, we have heard you. And when I finish my book in December, I... Uh... He is really not that confident about his book. It appears. But they did spend more time together last time. Even though it was because of a very miserable thing. But those are the things that can bring you and your family together. That is true. I'm in the lamp. God, I'm in another lamp. Right. J Jesus Christ, no! Paul gave it to me today. He was righteously pissed about missing that reading. No, I don't know. I don't think he's pissed at me exactly. He knows why I missed the reading. Grovefield came down hard on him, and he had to vent somewhere, more likely. But still, damn. The worst part is the chapter still needs work. I have to find some time to clean it up. Soon. Soon. Yeah. You're gonna have to read his memory to find out more. Uh, an example for uh, send Paul an example from the literary register, right? And your turn. I don't know how I'm gonna make these people happy. I really don't. Is there something out there? The entire world's out there. That's true, Paul. You should know that. Throw the same gear to my painter bag and take it to the co-op. I mean, I mean, I, some ideas. I, I, I don't <laughs> know. This is getting so hard to, to decide now. What about your rocket? I already played with it. I mean, as, as being a big kid, I know that sometimes it gets really boring playing with the same stuff over and over again. That's why you don't play the same game all the time. It just doesn't work. You need different things every now and then. That's just how life goes. Oh, there he is. Let's see. It's him and that again. The same painting. Let's see what he thinks. Bring my kite to the camp mommy told hey, me mommy. about. I don't know. Oh, this is so... Difficult. So it's either Dan getting his book... Well, great. An example ad. Linda getting back to painting. And Tommy bring his kite. I think we're gonna give it to Tommy this time. He missed out big time the last time we did something. So I think it's only fair. Oh, I was like, what the fuck is that noise? But it's Paul upstairs who's writing. I think we're gonna give it to Tommy this time. I think he deserves it. I think he does. Even though I'm not particularly sure about this whatsoever, because honestly, so far I feel like I fucked up big time, because no one seems to be happy, even though I try really hard. It doesn't seem to work, let's move. Wait, what, where am I? Oh, there you go. It happens, I get lost sometimes. I hope that's clear to you. Oh, they, they got together, yes! Tommy didn't register for the spending a week at camp actually meant his parents loved him, but by Tuesday he was elated. He made new friends, flying his kite and swimming with other children his age. His spirits improved almost overnight, and when he connected to his new adventure with a gift from his father, Dan became a hero. Oh, yes. That's so nice. That doesn't look good, though. Linda had uh, resigned herself from the fact that they couldn't afford the co-op, but she, the flash of excitement she got when she heard about the uh, inheritance quickly faded when Dan decided not to use it for the co-op's fee. She had to channel her frustration into a word, but found herself so distracted that she got almost nothing done for days. I mean, what does it have to do with my decision? I don't get those sort of decisions. I don't get it. Dan said not to place the ad, and deep down he felt like he was giving himself a vote for, of no confidence. It was sub subtle, but he knew that regardless of the book's current state, he had uh, apprenticed about being able to finish the way he wanted, so he had his bets. He couldn't shake the lack of confidence for days, and his writing, stum writing stumbled. 
but Tommy's happy. <laughs> I guess. Vacation. Are we finally gonna relax? It was summer, and summer that? was the bo the bomb. I don't know what that said though. Home to Sandy Springs, Oklahoma National Forest. Maybe a trip to a forest is a good idea. It sounds like you two could use a some time off together. Hey, what's the latest with you? I hope. I hope you're doing better than I am. I'm going a little stir crazy. Dan loves it here, but he's just riding all day long, so he could be anywhere. I could use a change of scenery. I've walked every trail in the woods and even started a few of my own. It's great getting away from the city, but I wouldn't exactly call this roughing it. Mm -hmm. Tommy's certainly having a good time exploring the woods. Sometimes we go together, and if I'm in the studio, he knows he can play outside where I can see him, and to stay away from the cliff. Do you remember when we were kids trying to jump the creek in the woods behind the house? I think Tommy's getting into that phase now. Maybe. Climbing trees and all that. Oops, <laughs> I got a little carried away there. You probably don't need to hear about all of our outdoor adventures. Sorry about that. Well, let me know how you're doing. Love, Linda. Is she actually answering these letters? That's what I'm wondering, because I've, I've not seen them. Hey, Molly, do you like this one? Oh, that looks great. I did it! I got the kid, the, the big kid swim band at camp. Love is gonna change if he doesn't even try. I mean, what the hell? Three days in, I'm still trying to figure out where to take the new piece. It's changing as I go, which is always exciting and sort of the point, but this one feels a little aimless. I keep snapping out of a daze and realizing I've been staring out the window for five minutes instead of working. But that's how you get when inspiration sometimes. When I got here, I was excited to have a studio with so many windows and so much natural light. But now it feels almost like a cage. Why be this close to nature but not be, well, in it? Actually, cage isn't the right word. This place is beautiful and there are so many more trees than back home. I guess it's more of a reminder when it's right there the whole time, not just an idea or something for the weekend. Hmm. Anyway, back to the painting. I'm not going to get anything done on it sitting here writing. But sometimes you need to clear up your mind and that's good. You need to do that sometimes. It's important. Let's see what Dan's up to. He has been having real problems with his book. Lots of things. That's a cool art. I like that painting. That's amazing. Uh, any ideas? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yes. Do I need to like read them all? I'm just gonna... I'm not gonna actually read them. I'm just gonna select them all. Just so I have them all. Yeah. I'm, I was supposed to read them all. Penny, thanks so much for your letter. It made my day. Tramer's Way came out a while ago now, so I don't get letters like this too often. Writing can be a pretty isolating profession at times, which makes it a big boost to hear that someone out there is getting something from my work. Your support means the world to me. Aww. To answer your question, I'm indeed in the midst of writing a new book. I don't have a title or a release date yet, but I'm plugging away on it slowly but surely. I plan to finish it by the end of summer, and I truly hope you enjoy it when it comes out. Thanks again for your kind words, Dan Kaplan. Don't forget your autograph, man. You're famous now. This is when you receive that sort of things, you know that you're famous. Hmm, May edition, inside the books of summer. I really like those. Those look cool. But what is Dan up to right now? Walking about. Just don't think there's time. I've got to stay on the book. This is my chance to do something people remember. Something that matters. If this one isn't good enough, there might not even be a next one. Certainly not one without all sorts of publisher strings attached. Mm -hmm. This is why we saved up enough to take the summer off. I'm out of excuses. Of course, a long weekend would be fun, but that's also the problem. How do you stay hungry when you've gotten used to weekend getaways? How do you recapture that feeling of being a broke college kid chasing a dream? How do you I get know that. out on that limb again? Scared it's going to break, but inching out anyway. Listen to me. Wound up so tight. Maybe taking one night off might help after all. Maybe, yeah. I want to get his book done. I really do. But for now, my priority does lie with their marriage and their family problems. Because I think in the end, nothing yeah. is going to make them more happy than... Uh, boom! Damn it! In your face. Explore. I need to sneeze, damn it. Actually, if you get to sneeze, you got to sneeze. Because if you hold it in, you can burst the blood vessel and die. Facts! You know, it can always be better. How was work? How was work? No, it looks always be better. They are at least conversating. They're talking. That's amazing. Great. I'm trying to fix them. I really am, but it's difficult. They're a bunch of difficult bastards. 
that won't listen to what I say. Or suggest, or anything for that fact. <sighs> yeah, not because I think it's boring, just because I'm tired. I've run the ad. I don't know if it would have helped a book, but I'd still spend all day kicking myself. Did I cop out? Is there some other reason why I didn't want to put the book out there yet? How am I supposed to believe I'm doing something that matters if I'm scared to tell the world about it? Damn it. Way to build your confidence, Dan. I'm sorry. Hey, Daddy. My man. There's some fire. We built a bonfire in a camp on the beach. And how about you, little man? Oh my god, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Could you not do that, please? Fucking hell. You scared the absolute living shit out of me. Jesus. Don't fall off the stairs, and especially don't scare him with your ugly ass face. Jesus Christ, mother. Oh. That was terrible. My heart is beat is up. Oh, Jesus Christ. She was right in front of my nose. It's that painting once again. I think. Let's read your memories. Hey, what's up? Hey, not much. Hey, not much. Where's the kid? Oh, there you are. Other stuff to do? Wait, what? Search the house for more clues. For Tommy. Okay. Well, I thought I had it. Apparently, I was wrong. Linda, how about you? You scary son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm going out for a hike. Okay, be safe. Be safe. Oh, we're already done with her. Okay. Good cook camping, that's why I bought the camping pack. So far, I like the idea of the bonfire the most, to be honest. Especially when they're doing it together, with all three of them. Which is, of course, the aim for all of this. Just need to figure out something for Tommy. Here we go. Yeah, coming. Just need to figure out... No, it's not the rocket. What do I... Oh, is this the one? Yeah, I read his thoughts to see what he thinks. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and do this. Read your thoughts. They said my rocket makes it free a boost. We're gonna go for the bonfire. Honestly. I like his idea the best. Especially, hopefully they're gonna do it together. I want them to do this together. To bond. Talk. Have fun together at the bonfire. That should work. Right? I'm gonna use this. I'm a fucking ghost, mother checkers. Uh, uh, there you go. Just once. Just once what? Good for a change. Go together to the beach. Have a bonfire, please. Yes, all of them together. Then put his book first and explain that he simply didn't have the time for a longer trip. He tried to make it up when uh, with him a one night beach camping trip where he happened to get a new ready for his book. It relaxed him, and by the end of the next day, he was back at his typewriter, working on a renewed purpose. That's great! How do the others feel about it? A rocket, right there. Oh, that's such a sad. He's so proud of finding the free admission special for Booster Bear that hurt him even more than it didn't go. He couldn't understand why his parents hadn't taken him when it didn't cost any money. He didn't play with his rocket for a week. I mean, that's not... I'm sorry, little man, but you... That's not a real problem. Linda was disappointed that they didn't go camping in uh, a church or blah, 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 blah. But she went on a day hike, so she went to herself to get out of the house and try to get someone for a new pack. It was only an hour, they hit a hike, where she twisted her ankle on a tree root and- Oh. Oh, that's bad. But why didn't she enjoy the beach? There was a change of scenery. That's exactly why I picked it. These people are so bad at solving anything. Honestly. The bustle. Linda and Tommy were getting worried about Dan. But why? That's cool. Uh, require tools, blah, blah. Oh, we can fix this car up. Oh my god, yes, that is amazing. I want that. Nope, no doubt about it. I want that. That car is going to happen. It's going to happen. That's cool. Is there anything else in here? 
I hope you like the pace of this game, by the way. It's like really slow paced. It's really different than what I normally do. Trash bag, Esper Mag. Okay, yeah, cool. I mean, you have something to worry about every time, don't you? I've been with you two times now. I've made you happy, and still you're complaining. I'm not gonna give a crap about you in this way, you bitch. Why Daddy Stadium? Fuck off. I mean, in all honesty, those aren't real problems. He's just a kid, and he wants to play every single day. And I know it's hard, and it's not possible, but I can't help that. Barb, I know I really Barb, 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 I need your advice. I think Dan's drinking too much. Oh. And before you start to worry, let me say he's not an alcoholic. It's just because of the pressure he's under trying to finish the book. Mm. But you know Dan's never exactly been a health nut. He isn't gaining weight yet, though even that's just because alcohol kills his appetite. Oh, that's so bad. Be eating at night, which is another problem altogether. I don't think he sees what he's doing to himself, and I don't know how to break through to him about this. Sometimes I just want to say it's not like I have to get drunk to paint, but I know that's not the most mature way to handle it. Sorry for dumping all this on you. I just wanted to get it off my chest. Do you have any advice about how to talk to him? Oh, that's bad. Yours. I did not know it was. Yeah, right. It had come to that. Doesn't even think about it. I did not know it would come to that. I thought you would be in a happier place, Dan. Oh, I went straight into his memories. Okay. He stumbled because he was drunk. Dan. Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. I must say that I'm rather disappointed in you. Daniel J. Smith. Or whatever your freaking name is. Oh, no, Kaplan. The name is Kaplan. Dan Daniel J. Kaplan. I could tell Linda and Tommy were disappointed, but I wouldn't have been any fun on vacation anyway. Too stressed about getting to the finish line. I did try to have a little fun with the bonfire, which could have been described as roaring for a 30 <laughs> minute period anyway. But that's good. It's something. Getting out of the house turned out to be a good idea too. Spending the night on the beach reminded me of a church retreat we did back in seventh grade. The smell of the bonfire gave me such a strong memory of a crush I had on Jenny something. Or was it Jennifer? I can't remember. Basically the same thing. But I do remember those flushed schoolboy emotions. I think I can use those for the scene at the dance. That's good. That's good. You've got something. Make sure to get up early, it says that if I sleep on the couch. Why you you should not be sleeping on the couch. Alan. Hey man, this is gonna sound odd, but I could use some advice. I'm in hot water here because, well, I've been drinking more lately. Man, there's just no good way to write that. I mean, I used to drink and write all the time in school. You remember that, right? I guess I got away from it when we got married and definitely after Tommy came along. But he's in bed by 8.30 every night now. And let me be clear. I'm not blacking out or driving drunk. You know I'd never do something like that. I just have a few drinks while I'm working, safe and sound in the house. A writer who drinks isn't exactly unheard of. Wow, could I sound more defensive? <laughs> but here's the no. habit. It's working. It's brought back that college hunger, that energy. And in the last week or two, the book's just singing. I don't even know what I'm asking here. Maybe I just wanted to start the conversation. If you get a chance, give me a call. Dan. I don't know. Look, I can't exactly judge whether he's drinking too much. Or he's just having a couple of drinks and it helps. I can't judge. Right drunk, edit sober. Apparently Hemingway said that. Or maybe someone else did. It doesn't matter because it's true. To write, you have to be fearless. You have to make choices and plow forward. Surprise the reader, surprise yourself. Make something that matters, not something safe. What does drinking do? It suppresses inhibitions. Yeah. I mean typos, but that's what copy editors are for and it it's not like I'm drinking all day. I'm fixing most of the stuff myself each morning. Or early afternoon, I guess. That, I'm not stumbling around drunk all day and pissing myself. I'm trying to create something they'll remember me. I don't know about this. No one can imagine how stressful it is unless they've tried it. The pressure's so bad I just want to give up sometimes. On those nights a drink is the only way to turn my mind off and get some sleep. When the book is done, I'll dial it back. That last sentence is exactly the reason why I cannot approve of this. When it's done, when I'm ready, I'll stop it. If he uses Not that true. Hemingway quote one more time... Yes. 
Okay, I don't need to read any more of that. I understand exactly what you mean. She doesn't agree, and I have to say that I don't either. Because what she's what he's doing is just not working. Hey, little Master. man. Let me let me check out your memories. There's one right there. Probably looking at his dad, who's drunk. No. But he promised. If he doesn't do it, I'll help you, honey. But what? What are we talking about here? Oh yeah. The painting again. I don't know what to think. Is Ellie too sad to put together the car? No. No, the car needs to happen. He needs to stop drinking. The car needs to happen. I think I've made my decision already. I don't think I care about any more. Even though I am going to find out your ideas. Because apparently it's important and all that. Why don't you stop it too? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. No. Nope. Nope, you're not. And I'm going to have to agree with Linda on this one. I've been standing at your side for a while now. I agree with what you did. But I'm sorry, Dan. It's getting too far. So much for Ochoco. I wish I hadn't done so much research to find sites and trails, because now I keep catching myself daydreaming about them instead of working. But I still need to get out of the house. I've done the Ridge Trail probably 15 times now. It hardly seems worth it anymore. Finding new spots is half the point. I guess tomorrow I'll check in town and see if there's a local guidebook or ranger office. Maybe there's something I haven't found yet. Maybe. Something nearby is still better than nothing. Right. I'm afraid the car is going to have to happen. Afraid for you, that is. It's certain she was right that he just has to make the effort. I'm sorry, no. That's not going to happen. Poor Bourbon and work on the apartments. Nope, nope, I'm sorry, Dan. It's not going to happen. It's going to have to be the car. We're going to have to fix up the car for a little old Timmy. T Tommy, not Timmy, Tommy. And make him happy, which will stop you from drinking, make Linda happy, hopefully. I'm trying to make the good decisions here, I really am, but it's difficult because the game doesn't really help me whatsoever. I'm not going to select running shoes. What you should do is fix up the car, stop drinking, you asshole. Then in the moment of clarity when he saw Tommy's pedal car lying half assembled on the floor, recently it's been a week since he'd done any work on it. It was a shame that his constant hangover has kept him from making his son happy, so uh, he, fi he fixed the car. It was overall enjoyed in the yard for hours. And if Linda's not happy about that, she is a selfish bitch and I'm not going to care about her whatsoever. Then put all of the alcohol back in the kitchen cabinet and promise to stay dry on work days. Be at a hard time focusing while you're uh, just well, sober again. He spent a couple of evenings staring at the blank page of paper and he never told anyone how hard it was not to sneak down. Uh, then the kitchen and drink those first few, few nights. That's how you know when you're an alcoholic and when I was right about the fact that I shouldn't let you drink anymore. Then I couldn't understand why Dan was so reckless with his health. A few nights later, when Dan tripped and fell, uh, while trying to undress the dark, Linda got f uh, fed up and tried one of his running shoes at him. When she saw the bruise on his arm the next day, she was as oh, ashamed about how long it took to remember where it had come from. I mean... He had his problems, but he put the alcohol away now. July can the couples uh, developed their pet- their, their life developed their pattern. A pattern. God. Words. One more month to go, which will be the last episode, next time. Dan finished his first draft, but instead of a company, he felt disappointed. The book had gotten away from him. It was barely readable, much less publishable. Paul gave him one last chance to get it into shape. Didn't have to tell him what the consequence would be if he couldn't get it together. I need to make this right. And on the following Tuesday, Tommy put an art show in the den, explaining his uh, drawings to his parents one by one. Uh, there were in a sit art edition, uh, biting, bidding against one another for each drawing. Then would not be denied, uh, outbidding Linda every time while comp uh, okay, complimenting on his pieces of art. Great, that's a good family activity, I like that. Dan and Linda had reservations for a getaway at a better breakfast, but they couldn't stomach the thought of spending a weekend together. They didn't want to upset Tommy. So he sat by himself in bed and they brought what to her sister Anne's. They both spent a week installing the time apart and nothing to ease attention. We're not gonna make them. We're not gonna have to f we're not gonna be able to fix them up. I'm afraid. They still had a month left, but then tends to change the course of the summer were growing fewer. Shit. 
I do wonder what I should have done. I really do. But that's something we're going to find out in the next chapter. The show. In the next episode. Linda got, to a, got, got a letter in the mail. I mean, that's the only way to get receive a letter, probably. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below if you want. We very appreciate it. Thank you for your support. And I hope to see you guys in the next and final episode of The Novelist. Take care, and until then, bye-bye.